Hey there YouTube, James Games, JRPGs here, and I'm here today with these two games. And I'm here to tell you why these have been the best pickups so far out of all the games you see. And my history with especially this copy of The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition for the Nintendo GameCube. Um, it's um, four classic games, so we have the first Legend of Zelda, and then Zelda 2, and then also for the N64, um, which were just ports at the time. Uh, not the 3D remakes we have on the 3DS, but this is before. In in um, We have Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, and then they includes uh, the playable demo for Wind Waker as well. And this came out in 2003. So what's interesting about this is... And it's funny, when I'm filming this, it's uh, about March 10th, so spring break is coming up soon, I believe. In 2003, there was a magazine called Nintendo Power, so Nintendo Power Magazine, and they were advertising that if you subscribe to them for like a, in a set three month subscription or more, they would send this out to you for free. So that's why it says not for resale. So in 2003, I, sent, I subscribed to Nintendo Power, first time I'd ever done something like that, but I did it for this specifically. And see if you can get it, you can't really get the title there on the, but you see the, the spine. Yeah, there you go. I subscribed to Nintendo Power specifically for this, and then when it came right on spring break, the Friday, get off the bus, check the mail, and this was in the mail, first day of spring break, and I had all spring break to play it, and the first thing I started playing of course, was awkward enough time, I remember, because I had sold my 64 with the game, with these two games. I had sold it years ago, because when you're a kid, you sell stuff to get other stuff. So it's funny, why am I talking about this game? It's because in 20, it's, it's 2021 right now. In 2017, I had a lot more games than you see right now. I had an entire Nintendo 64 collection and a Super Nintendo collection, and I sold a large portion of my collection off, including some other rare GameCube games, and this was one of the games I sold. I sold this game, um, like Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, I sold uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, and I sold my entire N64 collection, Paper Mario, Majora's Mask, all that stuff, uh, all my Super Nintendo games, you know, Super Mario RPG, uh, all those kind of games. I sold them all off. I, I needed money at the time in 2017, uh, which was funny. It was in the springtime too. So yeah, about four years ago. And I sold this off to a store in Vancouver, in East Vancouver, here in British Columbia, Canada. I sold it all to a st one store. Well, New Year's Day 2021, I go to this store and what do I see? This is still there from 2017 and they never sold the copy of this. They never sold it. And I went in there and rebought it <laughs> and it was on sale too. I sold it to them in 2017 for $80 Canadian and they were selling it for $100 Canadian today, but it, there was a 20% discount for New Year's for the holidays. So I got this for $88, $88 Canadian. Yeah, that was it. And um, I was just really, really excited to get it back because it's in, as you can see, mint condition. There we go. Instruction booklet complete. So it's complete. It's in great condition, goes for about $120 or so, maybe more. And I think this will only go up. So it's interesting because when I went there on New Year's Day of 2021, they had this, a sealed cr copy of Chrono Trigger for the Nintendo DS. So this originally came out for the Super Nintendo and then they re-released it in 2008. Let's see if you can see the date on there, um, somewhere. There we go, 2008, they re-released it. And uh, I got it as soon as it came out and I played it big time on my my DS and I loved having it on the DS and the extra features the extra dungeons just uh, it was awesome so they're selling this 
and I find this Legend of Zelda game, and I find this sealed, and I was thinking about re-getting this because that the the interesting thing about this copy of this game is that I the the copy I bought in 2008 I sold in 2017 along with all these games I I mentioned. I sold a copy, my copy of Chrono Trigger DS without it didn't have the poster because it came with the poster, but you know, being young, I put it up on my wall and tore it up later. But um, I sold it to the owner of the store for fifty dollars, fifty five dollars Canadian, and they're selling this sealed copy for eighty dollars. And because of the twenty percent discount, I got it for sixty dollars, sixty six dollars basically sealed yeah so i'm so interesting after four years ago i sold the game four years later i want i was like i I feel so bad for selling it but i find a sealed copy for sixty dollars at the place where i sold it so that is why that was a very special pickup for sure i so like a sealed copy of chrono trigger in this i I think I paid 130 or something bucks. Maybe, yeah, around there somewhere for both these. And I think this this is, out of all these games you see, uh, I have them in price charting. This is, like, worth, it. apparently it's, like, $130 right now. So I think, you know, I, I'm going for sealed games in my collection. And this is my first sealed game in my collection. Um, there's a few others, too, I have right now. But um, definitely very special, sentimental pickup um, to get the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition back from when I was a kid. My, this is my childhood copy, original copy, that I sold off for four years and then so bought it back from the same store. And a sealed copy of Chrono Trigger where I sold my original copy from when I was younger. It's it's such a it's such a strange pickup. It was like I couldn't even believe I'd pick I got it, but um, yeah, awesome awesome pickup. And uh, let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think about um, these kind of videos where I'm I'm just showing off videos and talking about my me picking them up and um, my opinions on them. Um, Chrono Trigger is one of my. I'll just talk about Chrono Trigger is a is a really one of my favorite games. I know a lot of people love it. I'm not going to review it or anything but um let me know what kind of content you guys direction you'd like this to go into um do you want to see me talk about these games collecting them um or do you want to hear more of a combination of like how they've influenced uh my music composing is there's going to be more of my music on this channel but also game collecting so um let, let me know in the comments what you what you think about those two things um I'll talk about this game Chrono Trigger. I thought about this today before I shot this video. I won't do a full deep story dive into Chrono Trigger when I have a box Super Nintendo version of the game. Funny enough, back there I have a, a Japanese Super Famicom um, version boxed, complete. I'll show all three of these off when I get a boxed Chrono Trigger. Um, for Super Nintendo North American, and um, I'll talk about my my history with the game, how my first times playing it, and and how it's influenced my my music. Uh, Yasunori Masuda's um, one of my favorite composers, and I really have taken a lot of influence from him. And um, let let me know what what you guys think about Legend of Zelda uh, type videos, because um, I have other other you can see in the back other Zelda. Cop games um that's uh koji kondo's really really influenced me for sure but more just just the nostalgia for the games is what drives me that's kind of what what i'm trying to go for this channel is how these games have through nostalgia have driven me to become a music composer and just collecting these games in general um are really inspiring so that's why i have this because right next to this is where i compose the music and um so yeah, uh, I think I'll end the video there, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about um, these kind of videos. If you want to see, um, if you're interested in any of the other games you see, um, to talk about any of them, let me know. Anyway, thanks guys. Till next time.